Hello everyone, Carrie Bramley, Physio and Pilates Instructor here. Yesterday, um, in the little video that I did, we um, looked at just basic Swiss ball exercises, okay, or fitness ball exercises. So today I thought I'd just go through um, some more ad advanced ones that you can do, okay. Um, you just have to be a bit careful with these because of the the movement and the balance required. Um, you know, because obviously when you're working with the Swiss ball, you don't want to fall off. <laughs> so that's the key thing. So, you know, if, if you're trying them and you haven't quite got the control and the ball's going everywhere, just back off a, a bit and just don't go as far as perhaps I do. Okay, but you can gradually, you know, the longer the body leave it, the harder you make the exercise. Okay, so we're just going to cover um, just a few exercises today. So one that's called jackknife, where you come out um, on your front on the ball. And then we'll go over bridging, where you're on your back with the ball. Um, actually, it's going to be four, I think. And then we'll, we'll see how we get through. Um, and then one that I like to use as another core exercise, but I'm quite weak in my adductor muscles, my muscles between uh, in the inside of my thighs. So this is quite a nice little one. It's sort of a modified hundreds. Okay. And then um, something for more arm strength. Okay. Just a modified push up. Okay. Actually, I might show you that linked in with the jackknife because that goes quite nicely together and I usually do those two things together. Then we'll do the bridge and then we'll do the modified hundreds. Okay, right. So I've got my ball here. We'll start with our standing roll down just to um, get our minds set and then we're going to go into jackknife. So what I'll do is I'll show you you know, with my head towards you here, but when we actually do it, I'll do it the other way so that you can see the angles of my legs. Okay, so I'll show you both ways first and then then you can maybe try it. Okay, we will probably just only get through about five repetitions of each of these, but obviously, you know, at home, you're welcome to do more repetitions. Okay. So feet and knees have distance apart, tummy pulled in, shoulders back and down, breathe in, breathe out to soften, make sure those knees are over the ankles, poke the buttocks back, I always check my foot, Get my, my right leg doesn't always want to do what it should do, pull the tummy in, lower, roll and reach, breathe in, breathe out, chest up to push up fantastic okay so let me show you going this way and the other and then you can decide so the key thing with the ball when you're doing when you're starting these is kneel and get that ball real close to your body okay because then we tuck the toes under and you're gonna push like that right so here we are, tuck the ball in, my toes are tucked under, and we're coming forward, okay? And I'm already starting to move my hands forward here. And so now this is what I like, you know, for osteoporosis, we've got to get weight bearing through the arms. Um, you know, you've got to keep that those strong bones nice and strong. So you can walk forward like this, okay? Right, and then what we're gonna do, so now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you what the leg positions are. Now, obviously, depending on how far forward you go and where your ball is. So if your ball is, say, underneath your, your, your ankles, you're going to have a long lever with your body. So you're going to work the core and your back much more. But you need to go with what you can manage in terms of balance on the ball okay as your core 
can't cope, you will feel like you're going to fall off the ball. So, you know, you want to come backwards and forwards in a very controlled manner, not all over the place. <laughs> okay, all right, so here we go. I'm tucking my toes under. Forward we come. Walk that ball forward. Walk him forward. Okay. Keeping the arm strong. Then we come up. And lower. Left knee to right elbow. Lower. Right knee to left elbow. And lower. And walk back out. Okay. Right, so that's what we're going to try and do. Now, I just want to show you before we do that, because how far you bring your legs is actually hugely important. So, what we don't want, let's go like this, no, I haven't got enough room to show you like that. So I'll just put my legs up like this, this way. So when you're bringing those legs up like this into the jackknife, you don't want to bring them right up like this, okay? They need to be about there. That's where you're going to get your most core. If you come right up like this, you're using your hip flexors, and that defeats the object of the exercise. Okay, so you want to try and have it that you do bring your legs up, but not right up to your chest. Okay, all right. So I'm going to have my back to you, and we're going to do five repetitions of this. And I like to walk it out and walk back in, because part of that walking out and walking in is back and core cool strengthening. Okay, and I'm just going to take the ball to about here, but of course those of you are very strong or any elite athletes, you know, you can take that ball further. Okay? Breathe in. Breathe out to come forward. Breathe in. Out to come up. And look. Breathe in. Left leg, left knee to right arm. Breathe in. And out to lower. Breathe in. Breathe out. To come back. We walk it back. And we go again. Here we go. Breathe in. Out to come up. And down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and walk it back, breathe out to come up, up with the legs, and back. Angle it, angle it, and walk back. So you might notice that time I did my leg angles to the other direction. You know, it's really important for our brains that we don't always do the same movement pattern all the time. So try and mix it up a little bit, okay? And we go again. Without <clears throat> to come up, angle it, angle it, we go, one more. Angle it, angle the other way, and 
we'll put it back. Okay, fantastic. So that's called jackknife. Okay. Um, oh, I love that one. It's, um, you know, the reason I like it is because it does all your tummy muscle strengthening and it's fabulous for back strengthening. And of course you get weight bearing through the arms, which is just also awesome. Okay, now we'll just go into the push-ups. What I like with the push-ups is that, you know, you're getting some tricep strength, okay? But it's also a really good way just to get your body knowing how to move in a straight position, okay? So I'll come forward like this. Hopefully you'll be able to see. We come forward and I go to about the same positioning with my legs. That's it. And then all I do is bend the arms. So can you see that? So I'm squeezing the buttocks. So I'm bending the arms, squeezing the buttocks and my feet come up. Can you see that? And then I breathe out to push up. Breathe out to lower and up. Pull the tummy in as well. Breathe out. Push up. Two more. Breathe out. One more. Breathe out. And up. Okay. The advanced thing of that is to have um, something under your hands, like a block or something like that. Okay. Right. So we're going to do our bridging, which is now on our back. Okay. And I think probably the best way to, for me to do this to start with is show you side on. But then I'll have my body the other way. And you can see, because I'm going to use my arms to challenge this rather than actually my legs. I find if I use my legs to challenge it, I use my hamstrings too much. And really, this is a buttock, ex buttock and back strengthening exercise. So you want to try and keep those buttocks um, working the whole time. Okay, so we'll just go side on so I can show you the, the positioning. So I like to tuck that ball under my legs here. All right, but the same thing, um, you can have the ball much further out. And then, of course, your body's a longer lever and you work harder. Okay, so now the key, I'll just put my hands maybe here. So the key thing with this is that you're bringing your, you're imprinting your spine down to the floor. Then you're squeezing the buttocks and raising that body up off the floor. Okay, that's, so that's what we're going to be doing. All right, and then we're going to, be moving the arms. So you just come up with that, hold that still, and then we move the arms. So that's why I'm going to have my body, my head to you. Okay. So I have the ball underneath. I've got the ball underneath my calf muscles. Okay. So now we're imprinting that spine, squeezing the buttocks to come up. So as we're coming up, I'm straightening my knees, okay, and balancing there. Right, now I want to challenge that, you see. Breathe in, breathe out, to come up and over with the arms. Breathe in, and out to come down. Breathe in, and out to come up and over. Okay, now I like to come out and around, to challenge that a little bit. And then come down. Now you've got to keep squeezing those buttocks right to the end. And you want to lower down with the spine from the upper body to the lower body. Okay, so we imprint again. Squeeze the buttocks to raise. Hold. Breathe in. And out to come up and over. Breathe in. Out to come down. Keep squeezing the buttocks, knees straight, breathe in, breathe out to come up and over, and out and around, 
breathe in out to come down so you're lowering from the upper back to the lower and then let the buttocks go right we go again breathe out imprint squeeze raise straight knees breathe in out to come up and over and down breathe in out up and over out and around lower from the upper body all the way down keep the buttocks squeezed and release right at the end two more breathe out imprint squeeze to raise if you're not using your buttock you'll feel it at the back of the thigh up and over and that's your hamstrings and you want to try and not use your hamstrings breathe out to come up and over out and around lower 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 keep those buttocks squeezed right to the end one more imprint squeeze to raise so keep working those buttocks squeezing them up and over and down up and over and out and around keep squeezing the buttocks lower from the upper back all the way down and then let go good 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 okay right so the key thing with that so if you're feeling it here in your thigh you starting to stabilize with your hamstrings okay so you've got to make sure that your knees are straight so that your quads are keeping those hamstrings out of the equation and your buttocks are squeezing okay um, and it'll be the hamstrings on your weaker butt side that will come into play okay so you know for me it's my right buttock I really have to be aware of keeping that right buttock squeezed the whole time okay fantastic so now I'm just going to show you um, a little routine that I like with the ball between the knees that is similar to our hundreds exercise okay we're just going to do five repetitions and what I'll do is I'll do two repetitions with bringing up the ball with bent knees and then three repetitions bringing the ball up with straight knees so I'll come down onto the floor and I think if I have my my legs facing you um, that then you can see what I'm doing okay <clears throat> so maybe just have a, a watch the first time So we've got the ball between the legs like that okay I'm going to bring them up with bent legs to start with okay like that and then the next time I'm going to come up with straight legs okay that's what challenges me is the straight leg position um, and that's my long adductors and my adductor magnus that's weak okay all right so here we go Breathe out, pull the belly button in, bent legs to come up. And you can, if you want to, from there straighten. That's absolutely fine. Breathe in. Now you've got to slowly lower here. Try not to arch your back. Breathe out. You're still squeezing the ball. Breathe out. To lower. Good. Breathe in. Out to come up. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in belly and pelvic floor to lower. So now we're coming up with straight legs. So breathe out to come up. Breathe in and out to slowly lower. Breathe in and out to come up. Breathe in, out to slowly lower. That's it. One more, breathe in and out to come up. Keep squeezing, 
knee straight can see don't worry about any shaking breathe out to come down well done and come out of it all right so you know I've got to work on that that's one of my weaknesses that all right fabulous so we will finish with our standing roll down and um, lovely to have you here and thank you so much for joining me and um, please remember to comment and um, remember these sessions are free I'd love you to subscribe and and share you know with people that you think might benefit okay all right standing roll down Breathe out, pull in, shoulders back and down, soften, poke, lower, roll, and reach. Breathe in, out to come up, and push up, fantastic. <laughs> okay, have a great day everyone, hopefully that's given you something to work on, alright, bye.